This is session three of What Do You Think? We can see that wrong thinking can lead us to miss out on the things that God has for us. The tactic of Satan is to attack our minds so that our thoughts will mislead us or hold us back. The most prevalent seeds that he sows in our minds are worry, fear, temptation to do something stupid, lack of self-worth, uncertainty. And worry is a lack of trust in God. In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus gives a whole teaching on do not worry. God is going to provide all we need. Verse 31. So do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them. Those who don't know Jesus will listen to the whisper of Satan telling them to be concerned with their physical needs. We can trust that God will provide them. Jesus' advice is seek first the kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. It's very easy to fall for the lie that we have to worry about what we're going to eat, where we're going to get it from, have we got enough money, can we afford the rent, all those sorts of things. Fear is another tactic of the enemy. Fear of being rejected, fear of losing a loved one, fear of what the future might hold, fear of death and so on. If we trust in God, there really should be no fear. Proverbs 1.33 says, But whoever listens to me will live in safety and be at ease without fear or harm. And 2 Timothy 1.7 For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love and self-discipline. Fear is not of God. The only fear we should have is a healthy fear of God, which is really awe rather than fear. Temptation to do something stupid? Well, the enemy puts all sorts of thoughts in our minds. Just say something, look, it doesn't really matter, or, or just do that, it doesn't really matter. The thing is, if we give in to that, then it becomes easier each time to do something and something more and more, which does matter. Lack of self-worth. It's an issue for so many people. We think we don't amount to anything, we haven't got much to give, so we don't really try to make a difference in the world. We just exist as best we can. It doesn't matter where the notion of worthlessness comes from. It doesn't come from God. It's a lie of the enemy. And the truth is, God does not make worthless people. And Jesus gave his life for us. And what higher price could be paid for our life? Then there's uncertainty. I don't know what I'm here for. I don't really understand what my life's about. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing at this time. To live in this uncertainty takes away all our power to achieve anything. We just sort of seem to drift around, going with the flow. But the truth is that God has a purpose and a plan for every life. We may not see what lies 10 years ahead, but we can take each day at a time, trusting that God is leading us where he wants us to go. Don't let the enemy's lies control our thinking because it will simply disable us. Yeah.